Sometimes it's boogie, you make you a fine wine. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? Yes, I mean bookie. She will make you happy. What are they created for? Yeah, yeah, that reminds me. Um, have you sent a message to the parent company in London to inform them of our is going to do? I did. Um, if they follow up faxes, they have to you know inform them also. Yes, the I did. The bank. The bank that was sponsored. I've done all these, Daniel. Johannes, Mr. Daniel is here. Yes, Your Highness. We are here to see your fiancé. Could you please just take your mind off work for once and think romantic thoughts, okay? Mr. Daniel, His Highness would like to see you now. In a moment, thank you. This shouldn't take too long. Yeah, hold on to the phones. You know what to say if we get on with the calls. I'll see you. Yes. This one's sizzling. You know, we're getting better at this every day. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Good morning. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Daniel, you're welcome. Thank you, Grace. Your Royal Majesty, you look wonderfully healthy today. Okay. <laughs> but Grace, that blue dress you're wearing simply assimilates your exquisite complexion <laughs> and your exotic elegance. Thank you very much. You're most welcome, you Grace. Mm. And to you, my princess. I don't know which is more radiant. Is it the morning sun or your smile that lights up the whole palace? Going to smile? <laughs> I guess God makes every day beautiful. Please come and sit down. Thank you. My dad has already acquainted me with your tremendous achievements. <laughs> well, let us just say that um, we do our little best and leave the rest to God. But um, when Your Majesty um, entrusted the run of the bank into my care, I simply had to um, live up to his billing and do it to the best of my capability. <coughs> ha! Your father. May so rest in peace. I'll ensure you with, with all capabilities. And this I trust. <laughs> I'm most humbled, Your Majesty. Most humbled. Daniel, tell me, how do you see the bank in the next five years? Oh, well, with the new program we gender towards achieving um, our great objective. Oh, no worry me. Do you want my kid to see his fiancée? Don't you think official matters should wait first? Ah, women, women. Mm -hmm. yeah? You always, always want to attract attention. <laughs> <laughs> As if you don't know that dad likes money so much. No, no, money makes the world go round, my dear. Daniel, please enjoy your meal. Uh, okay, right. Thank you. Oh, Daniel. But of course, it's my dear waiting time. It's good fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I beg, I beg, make you stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. I know you say daughter is get here. Why? Stand up, I beg. Why? Because you're servant. You're a servant like every one of us. Can't you see the way every other servant? You don't see that servant there. Can't you see the way he's standing? Are you going to that? Stand up, Joe. I beg your pardon. Do you know who you're talking to? 
I am the personal assistant and the secretary mm -hmm. to the princess's fiance. Point of information. A tortoise is a tortoise. A monkey is a monkey. Regardless of the size, whether black or white, fat or slim. And there's no greater prisoner than the water. So you are nothing but a servant. No matter what baptismal name you choose to be called. No, 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 keep standing, John. But I don't see you see that you'll be servant, my friend. Heru? Heru Jai? I'm telling you. I don't know, but you know, I think there's so much you can do with that. No, I know, but it's a self sufficient program. We we'll run this thing. Dayo? How is this man and what is he doing here? Well, that's my personal assistant, Dan Michael. So why is he staring at me? I don't like people staring at me. Servants don't stare at me. That is rude and disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, um, let me apologize on his behalf. But the point is that um, I'm sure it's the first time Michael has seen you and he's overwhelmed by your beauty. So the best of us. Well, honey, you know, the next time you come in, you don't have to bring him. Or if you bring him, let him stay outside. Because it's very obvious he's uncool and highly this. Uh... <laughs> okay, darling, the point is no good. <laughs> you see, I told you, but you wouldn't listen to me. You are nothing but a servant. I mean, nobody after all. Glorified corporate servant. Servant, now you be. Come here, just a pose. That's it, be. And if I forget, you can keep admiring the palace. When you're through with admiring the palace, then you join us in the backyard. Hmm? So that I can introduce you to other servants. But please make sure you don't stay too long. And don't be tempted to go contrary to this instruction. Servant. Uh -huh. uh, please keep an eye on him. Don't even allow him to relax on the rock. When he's too huge, us at the backyard. Don't tell me you're still angry over what the person said, eh? Come on. You got some straw to grow your brat through in a pie job. Get it. Daniel, I'm not angry. I'm just surprised. Listen, it's time you teach her how to be modest and friendly to people. She doesn't need all that. See, she has a word at her feet. Don't you see? Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you something. You're, she's going to become your wife, and your friends are going to run away from you because of her arrogance. It's the arrogance that they like. For real, because um, this wedding, that's all they'll talk about. But I'm not like them. So, won't you marry her again? I like to go to heaven like everybody else. But that's not the point. That's you see, me, I'm different. I always look at the bigger picture. Well, uh, having said that, let's get on to the nitty gritty. Cash. Okay. I made out a check for 150000 there. Okay. I want you to cash it first thing tomorrow morning before you come to get me. Okay? So, what's this one? Okay, um, 50000 for the expenses, you know, whatever 
miscellaneous expenses we incur for the month. Um, take 66,000 to Stanley's. I hear brought in some new stuff. Buy me three good pairs of shoes. Two brown, one black. You know, the shoes are like exotic. And keep the rest. Buy yourself something. Well, no. <laughs> feel better now? Yeah, I do feel better. <laughs> <laughs> you. My phones? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, the shirt. <laughs> Listen. Things might seem a little rough right now. No water with a lot of ripples, but not like that, they tell you. Always look at a bigger picture. Okay. You understand? Okay. Yeah. Have a nice, nice rest. Oh, do. Put two chicks in my hand. I remember to love the princess. <laughs> and as gorgeous as she looks in the magazine. I don't get to see any of these things. Princess Bookie is just like any other girl. Ha! Huh. She's not like any other girl. She's the talk of town and the media. Is that so? Yeah. Julie, is there any food? Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm hungry. I'd like to have dinner. Okay. Um, I'll be leaving for school tomorrow afternoon. Okay. We'll talk about that later. I want to eat now. Understand who you are addressing? Who gives a shit about me? Are you mad? Right? 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 Oh, fair, I'm all 
avec la bâtonnière, et à nos fleurs je sera, en fait l'amour, en bois le vin, en passant la rivière, en fait l'amour, en bois le vin, je sera, en fait l'amour, en bois le vin. Mike, I need you back now. I need to go with you back now. I said, back now. What's the problem? The problem is, okay, you need to see, okay, the palace. The princess? Of course. Listen. Some things happen, see? And I made excuses with your name, but I don't know about it. There's nothing that's going to happen. You're up to some mischief, Michael. Look at me. What's your problem? Look at this face. Come on. Do I look like the kind of brother that will sit up and another brother? Come on. I don't think you trust me a little bit. Ah, come on. Let's go to one level. Let's go. 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 let us go Refusing to eat or talk to anybody, and she's been in tears. My daughter in tears. Well, um, if you forgive me, Your Majesty, didn't she, in any way, reveal to you the um, the cause of her distress? No. Did she tell you anything? At least she's your fiance. Well, not to my immediate recollection. But I'm sure it will do us um, great service if I go to our room and find out the cause of all these problems. Good. Do that and let me know your findings. I'm right away, Your Majesty. Right away. Stay here. I'm back in the room. Young man, who are you? My name is Michael, Your Majesty. Michael who? Michael Udemma, Your Majesty. Who is Udemma? He's my father, Your Majesty. Who is your father? He's um he's a retired worker, Your Majesty. Your father is a nobody. Yes, Your Majesty. given to you to serve my fancy. Huh? You ingrate. You actually brought prostitutes to my fiance's house? And then you have the guts to sit there and let them insult me? Me? In my fiance's home? Or on your home? <laughs> I'm so sorry for you, young man, because right now, you are fired. Yes. Because your insolence and your lack of good behavior and then your disrespect, your total disrespect for me, cannot be taken anymore. It cannot be taken right right now. Get out. Get out of this place before I change my mind about you. And fast too. You see? You do what I mean? I give you opportunities. I'm equal to this one. I buy you. I buy you clothes. I give you opportunities. Look, look, what you do. What do I get? Look at you. You do insulting. Insulting my princess. I'm doing what she's doing. This woman, I don't want to be my wife. She's my wife. Get out! Get out of there! I don't ever want to see you again! Look at this! This copper scavenger shall ruin my life! It's okay, baby. It's alright, honey. This is the last room. Listen, I don't want you to be upset with that little chicken. Why don't you come upstairs with me? Let me read those poems to you personally. No, I don't even think I'm in the mood to read those poems. These are special poems. You need yeah, that'd be good enough to make me so happy, honey. But you know, this kind of... No, this is elite people!
was looking everywhere for you. Some kid down the street when you were hanging out here. What are you doing here? Here you're sucking. What was that all about? <laughs> it's just fun, okay? Yo, come on, don't make pedestrians. Don't go around the house like a kid. Come on. You're just some senile old man that was trying to catch his groove on you. He didn't get it. The girl is dumb. Don't you get it? Listen, listen, Daniel. I'm in the first class in school. I hope you remember. The process insults are becoming, they're becoming unbearable, Daniel. Tolerance. Don't you see? Tolerance, that's the bigger picture. I'm telling you, that is your only reason I like you, okay? One of the major chief ingredients that make me successful moms is tolerance, results, the ability to persevere. You need to understand this is perseverance. The resilience, that's what makes you apart. You need to understand all this. Stay with me on this one. I'm not going to rule this world. Only look at the bigger picture. Stop limiting yourself, my son. But listen, Dan. I think it's about time to you. It's about time you begin to appreciate the princess. Appreciate and love her for God's sake. And stop just see running around little girls that are that are smaller than high in class, lower than her. Have you finished the sermon? Well, the fact of the matter is, I have to go. I have an appointment in one hour. So if you're done ranting, why don't you try to do well?
Yeah. 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 And you come to my house to tell me that you, you need my help. This is your mood soon, my wife. It's just a mood thing. Mm. Okay, you should be used to me by now, okay? It's simply a mood thing. Besides, that girl is pretty stubborn. Beg your pardon. You come here and wake me up from sleep to tell me about the girl. Hey, come on, you don't understand. You will never understand. Understand what? Listen, Princess Bookie is the most respectable and lovable girl, adorable girl you can ever find. Any other girl, by the way. Listen, Buki is just a good mind that's waiting for me to be, to harness it. Come on, I don't see us anything besides that. But I mean, that's not the only reason I'm here. You know, um, the files have been piling up in um, the office, and I need you to look at them and sort them out. But hey, don't worry, oh I'm going god. to pay you double. Oh my god, I know the last time you went to the office, Daniel. I mean, if those files are in your car, they will have piled up and up and up. Oh, come on, I said I'll pay it over the internet. Okay, so why don't you give me a job officially in that bank? After all, you're finding your own bank. The board. What board? It's just the board. The board makes all the decision. I merely run it. Don't you see? They just come over here, do this, and execute it. I execute their orders. But don't worry. I'm going to head that bank. Even hear the empire very soon. But when I do, that's it. I can make you director of the bank if you so. Please, so whatever you do, I would like to be a director because I'm in your career. I heard you the first time. Besides, I pay better than any bank, so what's the big deal? Big deal is I need a career. I heard you the first time, okay? Alright, so um, how is um, how's Eddie? Well, God is with her and she will survive. Listen, if you need anything, money is no object. If you need money or take out to a more advanced hospital, just say the word. Money, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Father, wait. Let's go. Oh, God. Move your ass. Besides, oh, I love Star Wars. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. You've been on holiday for a whole day, remember, since I temporarily yeah. fired you. Ah, you know what it is. <laughs> it's my sleep, man. Don't worry, man. I think we have to go. We can't wait any longer. Can't wait. Look, he's going to be here, all right? I, I called him on the phone to tell him we're going to be, I'm going to be here. He's going to be here any minute from now. If you have told him that you were coming, then why isn't he here? Where is he? I okay. I can't believe the man you love is treating you like this. Okay, why don't you call him on the phone? I already tried. Uh, his phone is switched off. Then we have to go. If he wants to, let him come look for you. I can't, I can't go, Vivian. I'm sorry, I can't. I need to see him. Look, I love this guy. I care about him. I've done everything for Daniel. What's wrong with him? What more does he want from me? I've done everything to show him how special he is to me. What more does he want? Look, Vivian, I'm begging you, please. What is it by the time anyway? Terrible day. Really? What about me? Well, let me tell you. 
saw you have table, my own day happen. Do you know I've been sitting down out there waiting for you? Did you see all the people stay out there waiting for you as well? And I didn't even care about what my parents are going to say. I mean, look at, look at the time, even back home at this time of the day. Did you? Maybe you should have thought of that. Maybe you should have thought of that and you should have stayed this late. Okay? Maybe you should have just gone home. Daniel, are you out of your mind? Did you just say that to me? No, maybe you are out of your mind. Yeah, but because look at it this way. I'm really tired of this. I'm tired of the check meeting. I'm tired of the protocols. Look, I'm a man, okay? I don't have to hold up to you as to how I have to live my life and everything. I don't even have to tell you when I have to come home. I'm tired, okay? Daniel, you have to tell me what this is all about. Look, I've already told you, this is on a need to know basis, you understand? The man is a piece hypochondriac. He, he reacts to everything. I just need you to help me out. Everything will be in order. I told you, man. Stick with me on this one and we're going to rule the world, okay? I hope this is not one of those embarrassing moments. Hey, hey, look at me. Don't you trust me anymore? Who brings in the goods? Huh? Okay. The man, take whatever he gives you. He's a senile old man, susceptible to emotions and all that with his dumb daughter. Let's do their play this game to me. We'll hold the trump card. We're well, the brilliant people here. This is a dumb opportunity. Let's go. 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 My wife and I have deliberated and reached the conclusion. Michael or whatever your name is, stand up and keep standing. You are a son of a nobody, therefore you are a nobody. You are a psychophant, an opportunist, a beggar and lately a criminal. That's why you were rejected and ejected from the banking institute. Can you see? I, I, I... Your relationship with my son-in-law has turned him into a womanizer, a drunk, a smoker, and recently he keeps late nights. How you... dare you talk when I'm talking? You are hereby banished from this palace, and you should have no relationship with my son-in-law, Daniel. You have one week to leave this town, or else. Get outside now. Get out. Get out. Don your mommy. I'm not there the job. You're a good boy. That's exalted. You don't need such criminals as friends. You were trained in the best schools abroad. Your late father was my good friend. 
and you are married to a girl from an influential home like mine, your place is here. Come on, let's go. Who is your dear man? He's my father, Your Majesty. Who is your father? He's um he's a retired worker, Your Majesty. Your father is a new one. anybody to be shoving it all over like it's just because of you. <laughs> <That's not laughs> right. That's, that's oh yes, it means something. It means my pain, it means my pride, it means my heart. Danny, you know how my family, they got wiped away. You know how I'm the only one left. You know that poor Edna is there in the hospital eating away gradually. Well, I thought you came here begging me for forgiveness. Trying to evoke sympathy in me. Because I gave you everything. I gave you enough. I literally gave you a lease on life. You didn't give me anything. Everything you gave me, I worked for it. I merited it. And I deserved it. I mean, I've, 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 I've taken the blame for you all, all of the time. I mean, I've been your fall guy all the time. I mean, I mean, I've practically had to, to clean up your ass behind you. And it's not going to be like that anymore. It has to stop. Excuse me. Are you know, some, some, some type of suicide mission or what? You want to lose everything you've made in life because of other guess when you have someone like the princess? How do you know what I'm like? What do you know anyway, yeah? I know. Princess is a pretty young lady fighting so hard to maintain her pride and place in your life. Listen, I mean, I think she learned to love her. She is the woman every man would want to have. Maybe men like you. Mm -hmm. Why not men like me? Supreme. You see, I have everything I want on earth. She means nothing to me. Nothing. Nada! Without her, you are nothing. Yeah. Now let me tell you. You may have all the money. You may have all the background. But she's worth much more than that because she loves and cares for you. What is it with you anyway? What is it with you and the princess? Huh? Yeah, Why are you all sticky for her? There you go again. Yeah. Now let me tell you. If I had the princess, oh, I would say Eureka. <laughs> if I had the princess, life would be very boring without her by my side. If I had the princess, 
the light and the life of the door and flint any woman she's not with me. God damn it, Jesus. Do it. Give me the book. This one is for the Shakespeare. And let me tell some facts of love, my boy. Now, question number one, you're thinking of our love, right? Let me rest easy your curiosity because I don't. I don't love her. Now, second of all, you're probably wondering if I'm going to marry her too. I'm not going to marry her. You want a man in my position, a man with my blue blood and of my intellect, to marry her so that I become some kind of glorified Aram boy for all her family, huh? That's not going that way. What I'm going to do is a smart. I'm just gonna go on ahead and milk every million that came from my family. And when I'm done, I'm gonna kick a big ass in the curves. And then I'm off to the States to marry the person I really desire. Let me into that too. It's unfortunate. Danny yeah. Boy is very, very unfortunate that this is the situation. But I really wish you would learn to love that lady because she will make you a very proud woman. Very proud one. You know she has a lot of faith in you. You know, you know she's always blamed me for everything you did wrong because you lied to her and told her I was responsible for the wrong. But she believed because she had faith in you. I wish you would learn to love her. But as for me, I'm out of here. Yeah. Just remember again. again. People like you come and go my life. Don't mean nothing. I'll okay. find another new one. That's for the princess. She's a loser. And I don't have anything to do with losers. Losers. I'm not a loser. You're a loser! I hate everything. I hate everything. I hate everything. Don't you dare. You rotten, filthy, trapped dog. My father will have it. No, listen. Come back. I love you. I swear I'll just do it now. Drop. Get yourself drunk. You see what you do? You're my dog. and betrayed for the happiness of my daughter trampled upon and her pride cast to the dust no Andrew yes your highness Mr. Daniel is pulled down from the height of glory is placed he shall nowhere be found before my daughter or my premises I will be severely dealt with. Go.
aren't you going to ask him to come in? Please, do come in. Would you like to sit down? Is this where you live? Yes, but I'm sorry it's not much. You don't have to be sorry. So, what you said to me the other time you came to my place, did you hear it? Yes, I did. You know, no one has ever said such beautiful things to me before. My dad called you a criminal the last time you came to a place. What crime have you committed? I stole money from the bank where I was employed. And then they found out and my career was ruined. You had a good job. Why would you steal? A waterborne disease broke out in the village where my parents lived. And um, they were affected. They needed a kidney and bone marrow transplant to survive. The hospital couldn't give much because they had nothing to give. And the money that was needed was a lot. And I had to save them. So I, I altered some figures and took the money and went to save my parents. But before I could get to them, my parents, together with my only brother, had died. I apparently came a bit too late. Yes, Doctor, I was able to get just one packet. Would it be enough? No, 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 no. We need 36 of these to keep them alive before the surgery. But um, if you can get 12, we'll give it a try. Oh, my goodness. Doctor, please, now. This has already cost me 2,000 naira. That's my salary for three months. You see, we don't have time. We don't have time. This is a missionary hospital, and uh, if we have these drugs, I will give them to you. But we don't have them. I want them, yes. Now that I live alone, my people are in the hospital. They are at the point of death. 
Mr. Michael, I've told you I can't go further than that. Now, please, if you don't mind, you can excuse me because I have some urgent matters to do. What do you mean, sir? Just not to take it.
somebody forged a check to collect two million naira from this company, and you people are telling me rubbish. Sir, so you see, you see, I, I trust myself. See, I'm a very good Christian, I'm a true Christian. I don't do school. Shut up! I am talking about millions of naira. You're telling me about the bullshit about Christianity. What are, what are you talking about? Jimmy, where's the money? Where is the money? Because this thing happened in your office. By the time you end up with special fraudulent, you will tell the truth. Where is the money? Where is the money? Believe me, sir. I'm not talking about the money. I swear, sir. When you call my husband, I'm not talking about the money. I swear. I was in dire straits. I, I, I needed the money. Nobody wanted to help me. My family, they were in the hospital. They were going to die. So I took the money. But, but I brought it back. I said, it's inside that place. My you are finished. You are nothing but a property. Everything you have worked for as a banker is real. Your job and everything you had worked so hard to achieve in life to save the life of others. You're not a thief tonight. So, your only survival is the version of. She died from last night. He was an old schoolmate of mine. When he came in from the overseas, he confessed to me that he didn't have um, any degree in accountancy. Neither did he obtain, neither did he attend any university abroad. He lied to my father. Well, he told me that since I was an accountant, help him on the, on the bank, he would bring the bank's job for me and I would do them from behind, as if I were his personal assistant. And you accepted? I had no choice. In no other company or, or bank would, would employ me anymore. I needed money to take care of my dying sister's health, so I took the job. He paid me well. Fortunately, everything I made went into my sister's health. Huh. You're always thinking about others and are ready to help them. I like that. Hmm. Poems. You write poems. Yes, I do. These are the same poems Daniel sent to me. How to write them? I wrote them. Every one of them. Dad, I will follow my heart. And that is what matters here. Not what or how people rate me. I still don't want you to marry an outsider. Yes, Michael would have done a good deed and shown some good sincerity. But he's still very low. Okay, let's see. Buki. Buki, you see. Your father and I have taken extra pains 
in preparing you for a royal home with a husband that has royal blood flowing in him. My dear, you deserve a husband that is only befitting for a princess. Like Daniel? Mama, are you going to raise another Daniel for me? What is this some game to you people? It is my life we're talking about here, you know. But Buki, this Michael, we don't know anything about him. He's not one of us, my dear. He does not belong to our culture. Then, Mama, why don't you invite him? Why don't you accept him into your fold? Then you will know him. This man we're talking about here is a sincere man. He is very caring. He's compassionate. Mama, he's a listen noble man. Listen to me, Buki. I'll listen to you, Kerry. From henceforth, I don't want you to have anything to do with that so-called Michael. Is that clear? Boki, don't you dear me. Don't ever you dear me. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll leave this house. What? He was alone. My father left me. Boki! Are you out of your mind? I'm not out of my mind, Mom. Ha! But if you will not let me have Michael, I'll just leave. I'll go and leave for you. Why is my daughter not here yet? The chief man said she's coming. That is over 30 minutes ago. What would she be doing in her room that I've not seen her all day? She refused to talk to me or to anybody. Your Highness. What is my daughter doing in her room? Tell her I want to see her in presence right now. I have done that several, your highness. But she ignored me and finally warned that I should leave her alone. Ah, well, ah, well, ah, well, ah, Had to swallow a lot of tongues to come down to your level. Stay away from my daughter. Have you told her I call her? I think it's time you listen to her views. What is that supposed to mean? 
I think it's time we stop treating her like a costly ornament we brought from the stores. She's fully grown up now, and our choice of betrothing her to Daniel has led to a very sad episode. I only wanted the best for her daughter. Daniel really hurt her. Her pride, her soul. Daniel was a choice, remember? It was a simple mistake which could be amended. Then let's leave her to do the amendments herself. By following that insignificant son of a nobody called Michael? They make him somebody. Make him somebody for the sake of our daughter, our only child. After all, Michael is more well brought up than Daniel. Yet you accepted Daniel. Of course, I was deceived. There won't be time for deception, ma'am, or any form of excuses. Our daughter had threatened to leave, and if she does, I'll follow suit. She did not! She will play with a life cobra that will soon chill her blood. And for you, Olori, you better be very, very careful. My baba me oje for me. It's almost nine places. It's getting late, places. Maybe he's not coming. He's going to come. But your father. No, just forget my father, okay? Why is he so young? There's a girl. Oh, God. Oh, God. Could that be him? So long. It's your father. He sent someone to come and threaten me again. Again? Yes. Look, I'm going to settle this right now, once and for all, okay? Listen, listen. Don't you think we should stay apart for a while? Michael, please don't ever say that again. Yes, yes. I'm begging you. Alright? This is the key to a duplex. It's my friend's place, Vivian. She's out of the country. I want you to have this. I'm moving to the place right now. I want you, I'm, I'm going to give you some money right now, okay? I want you to hold that just in case of emergency. I'm going to give you the address of the flat. Just don't open the door for anybody you don't know for Christ's sake. Okay, this is the suitcase. Here yeah, you have half a million here, okay? I want you to hold it just in case of emergency. If you have to, if you have to do something, I'm, 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 I'm not really evil. I'm sure you understand what I mean. And then, this is the address of the place, okay? I need you to hurry, okay? I need you to get out of this place right now. We went on a, on a stroll. I was tired and bored of being at home all day, so... Yeah, we went on a stroll. I see. You can go to bed. All of you. Good night, Camus.
Did he ask you? Yes. Did you tell him? He made me to talk. Sorry, princess. I have orders from your father to get Mike. Mike? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to give you new orders right now. And that's that you get out. Now. Sorry, princess. I have to disobey you now. Marcus! What? Don't you even move. Stand right there. Go get him! So he said, even though he was a lawyer, that he's hadn't, he never had the word Roland Queen Oprobio. He's a sorry. I've not heard that word. What is that? Ah, yeah, okay. Sorry. Now he said again that he has never seen a lawyer that had only one hand, that all lawyers have two hands. Yeah. <laughs> what is the difference if I have one hand? Oh, I wouldn't have to put that right. Oh my god. A lawyer with one hand, a lawyer with two hands. Oh. Does this stop them from taking lice? No, but... Ah. 
lawyers argue on the one hand and on the other hand. You know? Who is that? Mommy. Good day. Please, uh, we are asking after uh, Mike. Yes, I'm Mike, and who are you? We are officers from A Division. You are under arrest for robbery and fraud. Hmm. You have every right to remain silent. Or anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Just kindly be on your feet and come with us, please. What? This is my father's doing today. Well, madam, I don't know what you're talking about. We are just doing our job. Please come with us. Yes, she's very lucky. I mean, her flesh and stomach muscles stop night from penetrating further. I mean, you can go and say hi if you wish. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. But mom, please can I see my girl? Please, mom. Look, princess. Listen. I am your mother. I will do everything. I mean anything that will make you happy. Okay? And if having Michael is the only thing that will make you happy again in life. Whether your father likes it or not, you will have him back. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. But, my dear, you must promise me something. Promise me that you will never do such silly thing again. I promise, God. My son, I'm sorry for my rude behavior and all trances towards you all this time. Kibis, you don't have to be sorry. You are just playing the role of a good father. Yeah, my daughter told me a lot of good things about you, which is befitting. Are you sure you are going to take care of her and make her happy? Kibis, I'm sure that with God on our side and love, Nothing evil can come between us. Good. 
I hereby restore you back to your career. A young man, who are you? My name is Michael, your majesty. Michael who? Michael Udenma, your majesty. Who is Udenma? He's my father, your majesty. Who is your father? He's um. He's a retired worker, your majesty. Your father is a nobody. Abed, Abed, make you stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. I know Mr. Toto is getting here. Why? Stand up, Abed. Why? Because we're servants. You're servants like every one of us. Can't you see the way everyone is standing? You're not seeing that there. Can't you see the way you're standing? Are you going to that? Stand up, Joe. I beg your pardon. Do you know who you're talking to? I am the personal assistant and the secretary mm -hmm. to the princess's fiance. Point of information. A tortoise is a tortoise. A monkey is a monkey. Regardless of the size, whether black or white, fat or slim. And there's no greater prisoner than the border. So you are nothing but a servant. No matter what baptismal name you choose to be called. You, you keep standing, Joe. Make a no see you that you'll be servant, my friend. Leru? Leru J. I'm no, 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 I don't know, but you know, I ain't so much you can do with that. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I, I know, but it's a self-sufficient program. We've run this thing. Dio. Who is this man and what is he doing here? Well, that's my personal assistant, there, Michael. So why is he staring at me? I don't like people staring at me. Servants don't stare at me. That is rude and disrespectful. <laughs> Sweetheart, um, let me apologize on his behalf. Well, the point is that um, I'm sure it's the first time Michael was seeing you and he's overwhelmed by your beauty. That was the best of Well, honey, you know, the next time you come in, you don't have to bring him. Or if you bring him, let him stay outside because it's very obvious he's a coat and hide with this. <laughs> Thank you, darling. The point is the opportunity given to you to serve my fiancé. Huh? You ingrate. You actually brought prostitutes to my fiancé's house? And then you have the guts to sit there and let them insult me? Me? In my fiancé's home? Or on your home? <laughs> I'm so sorry for you, young man, because right now, you are fired. Yes. Because your insolence and your lack of good behavior and your disrespect, your total disrespect for me, cannot be taken anymore. It cannot be taken anymore. So right now, get out. Get out of this place if I change my mind about you. And fast too. You see? You do what I mean? I give you opportunities. And the equal to this one, I buy you. I buy you clothes. I give you opportunities. Look, 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 you will run my bank of the authority to do and report to no one else but me. Come here. Come here. I'm very grateful. I don't know what to say. Thank you very much, Kamisi. I'm really grateful. Uh, my only has a gift for you. Yeah. This is the key to a brand new car for you. I hope you will like it. Please, you offer me a car. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. you very much, Kavis. You're welcome. You deserve it. I'll be your go. I'm a local Take him around the house. Hi!
fucking monk. What's up? You said you wanted to join immediately. You know what? I clothed that guy. Fed him too. Gave him all the opportunities. What did I get? Stabbed him in the ass when I needed him most. I know that hurts. You know what that middle hole did? It took away my woman. It took away my job. Almost of all, it took away my pride. See, I love it a lot. Now, if this is the only penalty he has to pay, stepping on my size toes. So be it. So, you want me to get rid of him? <laughs> I wanted to watch his obituary on TV. And you, are you still in there?
make appointment for town how to take care of things first. Well, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Hit the point that I don't have the fucking time to waste here. <laughs> Besides, they notice my absence at the palace and they start looking for me. Listen, I need you to help me do something. Help you do what? I need you to um, arrange so that I can see Princess Brookie and Michael in one location together. All alone. Of course you know they can't come. They won't come. They, they can't. Besides, the father gave out instructions and he's very, very strict about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they look at me. Come on, look at me. I'm a rude man, a broken man. I don't have a job. My accounts home and my brother's been frozen. I don't have shit. I, I just need to see them. I apologize to them for all the things I did. Back then, I knew I can't marry Princess Bookie anymore. I accept that fact. I just need them to accept me as a family member. There's still gains from being a family member of the royal family, you know? I need to stay within the carcass of power. Do you know what you're asking me to do is near? It's near impossibility. And this can get me out of my job. Do you know that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you that job in the first place. So I should lose the job. Yeah, listen, I'm not saying to lose the job. You're a trained security personnel. You can handle this. You remember how you were begging me to get you this job? If my brother has scratched your back in the past when you needed it to be scratched, it's time you scratch my I don't have to kill myself scratching your back. Just help me out. That's all I'm asking. Please. So, what exactly are you asking me to do here? Yes. And this is the last time I'll do a film for you. The last time. When next you're talking to me, the favor will be on me. Okay, listen. You know that warehouse um, of Ojo um, Road, the, the, the really complicated. I'm not doing that. Can you bring them over there? Let me just talk to them. Please. Okay, do you, can you put this in? Right, like a letter or a postcard, you know, something I can deliver. Don't make something I'll deliver it for you. Come on, what's all this now? You can do this for me. You know, there's a difference between spoken words and written words. I need to see them, make them the eye of one on one, make them understand the sincerity of others. Let them know how sorry I am. I don't have any material motive, God knows. I just need to see them, talk with them. Come on, please. I'll try. I'll try. Can do better than that. I all I want is it. You know I'm a proud man. I don't want people to like see me in the prince grove before Princess Bookie and, and, and Michael they used to leave off me. It has to be a private affair. Oh please, you can do this for me, man. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll try. I'll owe you one. I really appreciate this. Thanks a lot. Believe me, you will regret it. So your thank yous for now. Let me work out first, then you can thank me later to work. I've always been an optimistic man. Now I need you to do me one more thing. You'll start again. You see, I need to get out of here alone. I don't want people in town to see you and I hanging together. It's really going to be bad. You know that. I'm trying to save you two. I'm trying to. I've got your back on this one. Okay. Do that first. And do. You really look good in that cowboy heart. You know <laughs> Walk out first.
Yeah, I'm sent by your highness. There's somebody wants the both of you to see. Both of us? But that didn't mention anything to me. It's for security reasons. What are we supposed to mean anyway? It's a surprise. A special package from your father. Really? Uh, honey, do you mind? His Highness wishes to acquire and develop it. Both of you didn't need water. So why the switch? Why did you have to come on board while Marcos gets down? Why didn't Marcos just bring us here himself? Marcos doesn't know this place. Where's my daddy? He knows we are coming here. Is he coming here? He's coming here. Yes. So which of the properties? This alone or both of them? The both. Daddy usually tells me both. Listen. Just thinking about this thing. I don't know. This place. It's very funny. I don't even know this place. This one could look at it. Yes. You know, I felt exactly this. Oops. Ghost. Ah! Daniel. Daniel. What is the meaning of this? It's all for a good cause. You just want to talk and apologize. That's all. Apologize? That's all. That's all. all right. Apologies accepted, all right? Yeah. Don't make it. You know, our Christians, I don't think it's a good idea to walk out on me when I'm talking to you. Why? Why? Come on. Why well, went this is when I was like, I'm cultured. Would even exchange pleasantries. Special my old friend here. Hey, Michael. He look well. I see she's walking on magic with you again. Yeah. So how do you do? Thank you very much, Dan. But I think we can exchange this present just some other time. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You know, the problem with me is that I don't like when you know what he's doing. It means when I'm talking to you, get your ass back here and talk to you. Don't come back here. Get About guns? Why did you bring guns here? Hey, come on, I was just talking like and they walked up on me. What was I supposed to do? Beg them to come back and be on such things. You know your problem? Your problem is that you're too trusting. That's your problem. And you don't understand something about people like me. But all people like me is that they lie and lost too. That's what it means. <laughs> is it what you just made me do? Look at him. That's what you made me do. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Hey, hey, this was my friend I just killed. Okay? You know, hey, hey, this is not personal, it's purely business. I don't want you to look at this. Is there any other person interested in me? No, 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 no,
And it's funny, just um, a little while back, I used to ask you what you want. How funny, you do a stone pillow. But not to my favor, see? But I always have a way. You're asking me what I want. Okay. I guess I'm obliged to answer that, right? Okay, here. Yeah. This is what I want. You see, let me explain. What's that? This. Samus. It's a sedative. Now, I want you to take this. And inject the process. No, no. No, hell no! Yes, sir. Shut up! Shut up! We're not talking to you. Just shut up! You're not the princess, you okay? This is my job. As I was saying. See, I have stuff to discuss with you, mano mano. And it's not in my place to allow the princess to hear these things. And of course, I can't allow her to run up to and call the police. See, you understand my situation? It's an ordinary sedative. But you don't trust me. No, 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 Shut up! 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 Shut yeah, that down, man. Yeah. See? See? Look at it. Now, you see? Oh, she's sleeping now. Oh, look at this. Isn't she cute? Sleeping beauty. <laughs> yeah, you and I were suckers for this woman. Now, so safe. Princess is out of the room. You know, looking at her here, all pretty and sleeping, you know what she reminds me of? She reminds me of that stuff with that Romeo and Juliet. You're the intellectual, she knows the stuff. Yeah, except I have to alter the story a little bit right now, okay? You know, I like to alter things to feed my <laughs> very selfish interest. You see, here, Romeo gets to watch Juliet die. What? Yes! You say it's a sedative! I will explain, my friend. It's called, it's called a paroline monoxide. It's a one in my walk of life who made all kinds of people, all kinds of substances to, to take up little problems. Let me explain how it works and show you what damage it is. It starts by uh, burning up your intestine. Then it freezes up your blood. Then after that, your skin begins to peel. Like your skin lays it up. I prefer a snake because she's a snake. You can't do this! Jesus. And what the hell do you want? Fine, I see I'll have your attention now. I want you to transfer 12 million dollars into a number that comes out giving you six. You're insane. Where do you want me to get that amount of money from? I'm stupid. He said, I hate to call stupid. Now, I might be a little incompetent, but I'm not stupid! <laughs> but you have a call me stupid! Okay, well, how do I get it? How do I get it? How do I get it? How do I get the money? Shut up! Let me explain. But I think I haven't done my research yet. I happen to know that fat, bloated, toad of, of, of his highness, or, 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 or what do you call that royal highness of yours? Happen to know he deposited exactly that amount in your foreign account. Yeah, he uses it for foreign transactions. And as you are the head of um, foreign operations, it will be so easy for you to appendix your signature and transfer it to a number that counts like even the United States. Is that easy? Voila. And if you hurry, you just might see sleeping princess. Here. See? End of story. I don't, I don't trust him. Oh, no, you don't trust me. Can you hear that? He doesn't trust me. My best friend doesn't trust me anymore. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Okay, let me tell something. In the next 15, we just gave up 10 minutes of your time. In 15 minutes, Sweet Princess will be dead, and you have to deal with that for the rest of your life. It's okay, it's okay. Are we making sense here? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. We are? Yeah. And yeah. keep your fat money out of here and do what I do. Yeah! And one more thing. If for the interview, let me explain something. In the evening, you think about bringing the police into the situation. Let me explain what will happen. I'm going to kill her first. I'm going to kill myself. And just before I do it, I'll just might kill you. You know I'm desperate enough to do it. I'm a man that's lost everything. So get your fat funny out of your gun do I told you to move. <laughs> Look at you, stupid dumb man. Think I'm throwing the devil on a man like me? Huh? You think I'm throwing the devil on a man like me? <laughs> Do me. Huh? Think 
of woman like
Shut up. Shut up. Please. Please. Aisha, can I see her now? She's okay. The toxic chemical in her system has been removed. So she's very lucky because you were able to bring her here earlier. But presently, she's tired. Can, can, can I see her? Of course, if you wish to. No problem. Thank you very much. Ready to go, man. Oh. 